There were just three things I had to keep reminding myself. Watch my footing. Avoid sudden movement. And never knock the hive. Oops. OK, so I just slightly knocked the hive there. And in a second, we've got an awful lot more activity. The noise also has intensified massively. It's actually quite intimidating being this close to it. It's a really heavy, droning buzz. Listen to that. And suddenly it's obvious why killer bees are called killer bees. The thing that makes African bees more dangerous than honeybees and gives them the reputation of killer bees is not because they're any bigger or because their venom is any stronger than European honeybees. It's just because they're so much more aggressive. Um, they'll sting in much greater numbers and they'll, they'll chase away an attacker for as much as a mile away from their hive. And, uh, well, a couple of hundred stings can easily kill a person. So the clock's ticking. It's almost time to evacuate. It's very tempting. You've just got to stay calm. You mustn't thrash around. That's the absolute worst thing to do. OK, they're now trying to sting me through the suit, really heavily around my head. I was feeling the force of thousands of killer bees in full attack mode, so it was only a matter of time. Ah! Ow! 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 Ah! Oh, one stung me through the veil. Right on the chin! Oh, you forget how much they hurt! Oh. And that's the final straw. Ow! I think it's time to head down. When they, uh, when they go on the attack like this all together, it doesn't really matter how fast you can run, you're in big trouble. And that's why African bees are going on the deadly 60.